Hey, welcome. I would like to show you a few new features of the latest Spring Tools release. In this case, I show you the stuff in VS Code. So I have installed the latest Spring Boot Tools via the Spring Boot Extension Pack. So it is version 141.0 that I have installed. And this brings you version validation for your Spring projects. So what does it mean? In this case, I have Pet Clinic, and Pet Clinic is using Spring Boot version 273. And as you can see, this is not the latest patch version of the 2.7 um, versions. So this gives you a warning telling you, hey, there's a newer patch version of Spring Boot 2.7 available called Spring Boot 2.7.6. Um, so this gives you a hint and you will never miss new patch updates anymore because they will show up as warnings directly inside of your IDE. Um, the same is, for example, true if you have an even older Spring version in your project. So in this case, let me switch this over to 251. And in this case, among some other uh, warnings here, um, I get the information that there is a newer patch version for the 2.5 family available called 2.5.14 and there is a new minor version 2.7.6 available and uh, the same would of course apply for a new major version. But sometimes you might not want to see those warnings or you might not want to see those things as informations. In this case I uh, decided to not show new major versions. But you can change that from the preferences and define yourself what you would like to see uh, for the version validations. In this case, you can say new major versions, I would like to see them as information. New minor versions, they should be a warning and new um, patch versions should actually show up as an error in my project. So if you change those settings, you will see for my case, I get an error for a new patch version, I get a warning for a new minor version, and I get an information for a new major version that is available, uh, which is Spring Boot 3 in this case. So this way you can define yourself what you would like to see, what you like to see as a notification in your development environment. The same works, of course, for our Spring Tool Suite for Eclipse and the extensions for Eclipse. Um, and if you don't would like to see those information showing up automatically, you can, of course, switch them all to ignore if you decide to do so. In this case, hope we can help you to show you new versions immediately. And in the next video, I will show you a little bit about what this light bulb and the, the nice little quick fixes that show up behind the light bulb will give you in addition to this validation. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts, any feedback, let us know. Thank you.